All right, guys, here's the 2023 Apex Stargazer 203. So just going to do a quick walk around on the outside. So the reason why we call it the Stargazer, so with the Stargazer package, you'll see inside we got a beautiful, cool skylight on the top. And then on top of that, with the Stargazer package, you get heated tanks as well. And then since we're a dual axle back here, we have a heated enclosed underbelly as well. So that's really nice to have. So right here, if you're worried about weight, our dry weight is 4160 pounds. We're 23 feet 5 inches. And that is from the hitch to the very, very back of the trailer. Uh, also on this side, you can see we get the frameless windows. I call them more of the awning style windows. So instead of, say, the traditional window like this, where it opens sideways and when it rains, it goes right into the unit. These open up on a 45 degree angle so that way rain is not getting into the unit. On this side, we got the outdoor shower, our black flush, our city water connection, obviously the power for the RV as well. We got the spare tire coming around here. So another fun fact about the Apex and that stands out than anybody else down the road is that not only the construction behind the fiberglass, we'll talk about that inside, is that the wall actually, you can see, passes the floor. So a lot of times it meets up the floor, water gets in, comes into the floor, gets all soft. So now we have an exit point, which is nice and handy. Here's our outdoor kitchen. So we do get the two burner grill with the nice big beer fridge, bottle opener right here. Hot and cold sink here, that's pretty nifty to have. We have a nice big awning. It's pretty much the entire trailer. As you can see, we got an LED strip on the outside with the two speakers. I'm gonna hop on in just before we do. This is their pass-through storage. You can see here, and you can also see here we have a solar amperage here, solar controller. So we do have 100 watts of solar already installed on the roof. And that little thing, if you're wondering what that white thing is at the end, that is like a laundry basket or some basket you want to keep around. It's a nice little spot for it. So hopping on in, my battery is dying here, so I'm trying to make it a little quicker so you can see. So now this is the skylight I was talking about. So it does open up. You can see you take these connections off, open them up, and you can open the whole window. But not only that, you got your night day, nighttime shade as well as your daytime shade. And they do clip into each other so you can have them half and half just like that. Along with that, you got the front window. You got tons of windows all the way around. Jeez, my battery's dying. All right. So we do have a nice big deep sink here. Awesome. Two burner. We got the microwave. We got a propane electric fridge in this guy here as well. We got the dinette on the slide. Also on this 203, we have the Murphy bed style. So this bed does fold up. It'll be hard to do over on the hand. And then this just goes into the couch right here. And then you have a full size couch. I'm gonna place you just like this behind the TV. Maybe I can do it in front of the TV. There we go. So I can show you exactly what I mean. So this goes forward and then this just folds up. Just like that. Uh, pretty straightforward, very easy to do. You do now have storage underneath each side of the table, the, sorry, not table, couch, which is nifty to have. Hop on, on into the bathroom, and you've got so much room back here. There's no bunk beds. Look, the kids are gone. It's sweet. we got tons of room under the shower. If you're a taller fella, we have the skylight, so you can put, poke your, <laughs> your head through there. And we got some storage here also. So when I was outside, I did talk about the construction. So the big difference now versus say a lot of other manufacturers were built out of Asdell composite walls and the only way to tell you have Asdell composite walls and what it is is right here you can see in the keyhole instead of this being wood it's a composite wall the benefit on this right beside the aluminum frame is that we are avoiding all the cancer stuff trailers get so typically you get water damage delamination uh, molding, rot, mildew, all that ugly cancer stuff trailers get over time. Now you completely avoid it 100% because it doesn't absorb the water anymore. So now you have a longer lasting RV on top of that and you have 
it's a thicker material, so our value does go up just a little bit. Oh, excuse me. Uh, the benefits are just endless on this thing. It's absolutely amazing. If you guys have any more questions, please let me know. And we look forward to meeting you guys soon. Thank you.